All right, now we're on to the our last class, Warrior. And the first card we have is Fool's Bane, which at first glance is absolutely amazing. Five mana, three, four weapon, unlimited attacks each turn, can't attack heroes. This is my favorite card of the set, and yes. I have a little bit of a bias because Warrior is my favorite class. I have like 2,000 wins or something like that on Warrior. That's, yeah, Ooh. that's but, a huge bias. But, yeah, it's a huge bias. Resident Sleeper. This card is like... <laughs> It's it's like right now it, it it replaces what Death Spite left when it uh, got rotated out of standard. It's it's filling a void for Control Warrior, which is basically just like a, a it's like a targeted brawl. Yeah. And this might be the card yeah. that the first synergy I see with this card is the with the three mana four three, which makes your hero immune. Yes. Oh, and you can boy. what you can do with this is you can just in one turn use all the charges and clear everything and not yeah, take yeah, any yeah. life. Five mana, deal twelve damage, spread across like a bunch what, of whatever you want. This card single-handedly makes the zoo matchup and the zoo versus warrior matchup even worse yeah. for the zoo. And not only that, you don't have to use all the charges. Yeah, you <laughs> can just save them. You can just yeah. equip this thing and not even use any charges. And then the next turn, whatever they play will die. Because yeah, you, you can know. attack unlimited times. So I think this card is definitely a one-off, a really good one-off in a control warrior. I just don't know... Hmm. It just doesn't see... It's The issue is it... Y the uh, reduced utility in hitting face. Yeah. Like even Gore Howl, it it's a board control card, but yeah. you know, you can, use it, you can still yeah, use it gold face. face. Yeah, for a yeah. huge amount of damage. The thing is, if you run it as a one of, then you won't really run into the issue where you're forced to use it to go face. And it's often, you're, you're going to use it to hit. Like, there's going to be at least one target for this, and you can use that to kill those minions. Well, the, the problem as a one up, the main one is the chances of drawing it. You really want to turn five. But that doesn't make it a bad card, right? No. There's a lot of cards in the game that are really good, and you run them as one ofs. Mm -hmm. Like, like, I mean, Reno Lock is a thing, right? And you well, run 30 yeah. runos. Because. <laughs> yeah, because of Reno. But, like, and you run Gore Howl as a one -off. So this is sort of like, this is really comparable to Gore Howl, except it's, like, slightly less versatile. But you could argue that it's more versatile in terms of, like, minion control. Because you can use, you, it's, it's flexible and you can use it on multiple minions. Yeah, one thing I did think of, actually, is, uh... Spiteful Smith and this card like does that oh, is that gonna make that, that sounds disgusting is it gonna yeah. make that card viable no it's, okay it's, I don't it's, think it will though because Spiteful Smith is like it's such a I don't know it's it will not give impactful you, enough but this weapon alone it's ridiculous it's 20 damage yes. yes but 20 damage isn't going face though that's the thing like, yeah, when, it's when, it's, when it's hitting strictly on minions it can't be that broken yeah. But there is a difference between hitting something with three health and something with a little more it will but then okay it means you take half the damage yeah. plus you save another charge I don't think it'll make running a 5 mana 4 6 viable enough, though. Hmm. We'll see. We'll I see. don't know. Well, this card is definitely but like on my radar. Or, like, I, I like... One of the best cards in the set. Yeah. yeah. And one of the most interesting cards in the set. It like, can definitely allow for like different possibilities. Yeah, I, I really like this card. Yeah, I don't know. It might end up being amazing. just redundant and bad, but I, I don't know. I just I, I just hope this card becomes playable. It's you unique. You can run yeah. this with upgrade. Ooh. It wouldn't what? go... No, that's not even that good with upgrade because upgrade is like a face card, right? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Like, okay, the thing with control decks is you can't run light cards. The, the, when people first made like the first iterations of Control uh, Cthulhu Warrior back when Whispers of the Old Gods were released, the reason it was bad was because people were running like multiple copies of the uh, back in Revival. They're running a bunch of like light cards. They're like, running as a tempo. Yeah, they're running as a, as a tempo deck and then having the, the gain 10 armor. That doesn't make any sense. Yeah. So you can't run cards like upgrade with this. Right. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What about Captain Greenskin? Captain Green... It is upgrade. It's a 5-4 body. It's, yeah, it's, Captain it's, Greenskin, it might be so good with this that... I don't know. Yeah, Captain Greenskin is... I'm just thinking of ways of how this can really just... You can run both Gore Howl and this and have Captain Greenskin in, in the deck and it also works with Fiery War Axe. Like, you can play like Fiery War Axe and like hold it for like two turns, coin the Captain Greenskin, and now you have like a 4-3 weapon. And then yeah. that's oh, like a man. pretty good combo. You could coin Fool's Bane, then play... Captain Greenskin, and that's and what you have like what, five uh, charges, four five, <laughs> and you can uh, kill four five four health minions. The question is like, will you have enough life? To well, sustain yeah. It? Well, yeah. as warrior, you probably will. Actually. Yeah. Yeah. You should. yeah. You'll clear the board, so therefore, like you're, the, you're not taking that much. The only damage yeah. you're taking is from the weapon. Yeah. Yeah. So I, I yeah. like this card definitely. I like this card. Yeah. If I if I'm gonna see this card being played everywhere. I'm gonna run Harris on each and every one of my decks. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that might like, be you monster. All, all to include. Yeah, that's monster. that's the other thing to consider. Yeah. That's going to come back in. Harrison yeah. will be like yeah. very. If this strong. becomes popular, well, if any weapon becomes popular, Harrison becomes like the, the yeah, hero the, to come saving the day. Yeah, but this, yeah, I can see this card being this not only Harrison but like a couple of uses as the well. The thing is, this this destroys like slow, like like fat, like really quick decks, like 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 just, like zoo. Yeah. And then those decks don't typically run Harrison. They run like like Zoo specifically runs like one or two copies of Ooze. Usually one copy. 
Mm-hmm. Like, like uh, it, it runs my double loose deck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, it runs. It runs as like a tech card, sort of like Crazy Alchemist for Doomsayer. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And uh, that, but the, the the thing with this card though is it it doesn't get countered by ooze because you can use all the charges the turn you play. Oh yeah, that's the charge you play. <laughs> so yeah. this Her- yeah. it might not even counter Her- Harrison might not even counter this. You can just it, play it, clear their entire board. It's, it's like a targeted brawl basically. That you so can't the issue is you don't want to equip this and hold yeah, it. Yeah, you don't want yeah. to hold it. Then. Yeah, then you probably don't want to hold this card. Yeah. Okay. We were already discussing the strategies. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I do. I like that. Like, well, that's like a very interesting. Good card. card yeah. Good interesting card. card. Good. Yeah. Good design. Yeah. I like it. Beautiful and, artwork. And the next card we're talking about is going to be the last portal, which is the Iron Forge portal. It's a five mana spell. Gain four armor and summon a random four cost minion. And this is like the Moonglade portal that we're talking about earlier. Resembles Shield Maiden in a lot of ways. And now, now the question is: Is this better than Shield Maiden, or is this worse than Shield Maiden? The better question is: Is this better than Moonglade Portal? I think. Well, for Warrior, I think it is because within the context of Warrior, Ooh. that is relevant. As Gaining opposed, four armor, as Gain opposed four. to Moonglade okay, Portals, it, uh, restore six health. The thing uh, is, if you could restore health to your minions specifically in a deck where that matters, where you're running stuff like Ancient of War, where you're running Violet Teacher, where you're running like Emperor Thoris, when you're going to heal those minions, the restore six health is arguably like more versatile this only has synergy with shield slam and it's only like better if you are at max health and don't have targets to hit like i don't have minions to heal all right you know what i yeah. relent that's pre- yeah. moonglade portal is pretty good moonglade portal is yeah, pretty yeah, good is... The, because of its oh, you change your mind now yeah <laughs> you change your mind <laughs> now yeah, you oh, over time i was giving i'm just giving yeah. a thought yeah. throughout this whole and thing. it synergizes with yaw it's not bad and it yeah. synergizes with the uh the violet t-shirt people have too. actually recently been playing a yog warrior deck it's like a con- it's like a it sort of resembles OTK Warrior, and it also has Yogg in it. Yeah. It's pretty interesting. And this will definitely see a place in that deck, making it better. I don't know if this will see playing Control Warrior, though. It was, res- like, right now... The it's f- like a Shield Maiden. Ever since Nax and GVG got rotated out, the 5-drop slot has been completely uncontested. It's only been Azure mm-hmm. Drake, pretty much. And this is, the, this is the card that comes in and saves the 5-drop slot for Warrior. So you get a random 4-drop and 4 health. Yeah, and that's I, that's good enough. People who are like, Shield Maiden is, is not good enough, because restoring 5 life is not that good. Like to five five mana five five is not that good, but this is first of all it, it costs wait, 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 one wait. mana less. You said people said yeah shield people Maiden. said shield maiden was not that good. Really? A lot of reviewers said shield maiden was not. No, that good. No, shield maiden was crazy from the offset. No, it wasn't. That's the thing. A no. lot of people pe- in in a, in, a, in, a, in a review like in a, in an expansion where people say Doctor Boom is not that good, where people Ooh. say Patron is not that good. <laughs> I expect far less oh. quality of reviews from like uh, the most popular streamers and reviewers. Damn. Cool. This card. Shots fired. If you think about it, <laughs> Shield Maiden was competing in a meta where there were cards like Cairn and Sylvanas being played. This is a five cost. The only spell, the only card can competing with this is Azure Drake. Yeah. Like virtually the only yeah. card that's competing with this is Azure Drake. And Azure Drake isn't played in Control Warrior because it doesn't have any practical application. You're not looking for a five mana four four spell power that draws a card. You're looking for sustain or removal. And this gives you like it, it gives you tempo and it gives you, you life sustain. and, and it's an shield, shield slam. slam. Oh. And it's a spell that works with Yogg. So I see a lot of promise for this Ooh. in this. Yeah. So much in one pack. Plus, yeah. Oh, it's sort of like Moonglade Portal. We it, never considered this, but all these portals synergize with Yogg. Yeah. Oh, no. I mean, Yogg yeah. can cast all these portals. Oh. Sh- yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. You're, 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 now your Yogg can cast Iron Forge Portal, giving you more armor. Damn. That's pretty well, dumb. What a buff. What, what a buff. buff. What a buff. And a get. four drop. I actually feel like Yogg is gonna be banned in future formats from tournaments. Not because like it's because when spells like Astral Communion rotate out. This, the, the, the card is just going to be too good. Yeah, it is too good. Like, and it, not only that, it's, it's not too just impactful. Too it yeah. does not only. Okay, it's not even about the RNG aspect. It's it, just, it's just too good. Yeah, you're giving it it's too, just too good. Yeah, it's too many good spells now. Yeah, there's too many good spells. Yeah. And it's bullshit. It feels like shit when you if lose you play, to Yasser. <laughs> yeah, you if you, you play like shit. three or four portal, yeah, and it also like just for most casual viewers, it like casts like a huge shadow of doubt on like the integrity of a competitive Hearthstone. Yeah, it does. Yeah, yeah. And this might be like it, this is like the the next shield block. It, Oh, he got exactly the right Iron Forge portal at the right time to save him from lethal, and it gave him the minion that he needed to trade into their to trade into it gave their him board. a charge minion or a taunt. Yeah. yeah. Oh, this, you, this, this, this gives you core card on lead. It's like ridiculous. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh. So much damage. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> the more I think about this guy, the, the more I think it's better. Yeah. It's I, I don't know good. if it's better than Moogly Portal because, like I said, Moogly Portal has the added versus. They belong in different archetypes. Yeah, they do. So, yeah, yeah, so yeah. it's hard to say. They're yeah. both good cards though, and yeah. I, I really like this card, and I think it has promise. Especially in Control Warrior. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Lots of synergy. And so for the last card that we're going to talk about is the arguably the worst one. Or not really arguably, it's, it's objective. Arguably, it's objective. Yeah, it, it's it's, it's objective. Protect the King, which is uh, Unleash the Taunts. Yeah. So yeah. Each, three mana spell Ooh. for each enemy minion summon a 1-1 pawn with taunt. Now, our, 
one one minions good enough right now no they're not, of course and, not. They're not. No. and the second comparison it's... to make is is charge better than taunt obviously it is mm -hmm. taunt is far worse than charge and is way more costly really? except that both of these spells cost three mana yeah. so 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 why is unleash so 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 why would this card ever be played if unleash isn't even like that because great? of bolster. the card bolster bolster yeah, see, then if you think about the situations where it's good, <laughs> let's say you have like four or five minions, you play yeah, Protect yeah, the yeah. King Bolster. Is that even that good? And it requires you to have two situational cards that don't work well individually. If you build the deck to draw cards specifically, like yeah, and all have run it like all like with exclusively taunts. I, I don't know. I, I've tried this deck. Like, I tried to build it around it. It's actually not as impactful as you think it is. Even if you're playing against... I didn't think it was yeah, impactful. Yeah, no, no, no. Because I, I thought it was impactful because you get the whole board of 3-3 three, three Not taunts, really, right? because... Um... But, but yeah, yeah. But you, you're pretty much behind on board while you do that. And you really need charge to instantly remove those kind of... Your opponent's board. But, yeah, your opponent can easily wait, like, set up, and then just remove all the taunts altogether. Not only that, when you yeah. play this card, you play a get card like Ravaging Ghoul, which is a really good card in the meta. Yeah. It does not synergize. Ravaging really. Ghoul just sort of just dumped, like, yeah, puts it's a lot, makes a lot of cards not viable. Yeah, it's counterintuitive. Yeah, yeah and also, it makes, yeah, it, it also, yeah. you're you're playing this in Warrior, where you're yeah, almost, you like, undoubtedly one ones, yeah. running Ravaging Ghoul. This yeah. does not synergize well with Ravaging Ghoul. Unless you take out Ravaging Ghoul. Unless, yeah, that, that's that's pretty much Blast it, because it's Ravaging Ghoul. It changes. It's like taking out Fiery War Axe in right. this meta. Mm -hmm. Where all you're in, like, the entire meta is just full of two mana drops, which gets which died at one charge of Fiery War Axe. You're not going to take Fiery War Axe out. Just like you're not going to take Ravaging Ghoul out when you have a three mana 3-3 three, three that has a whirlwind effect. That, that's crazy. Yeah. And it was proven to be crazy. I didn't. I was one of the people who thought, I, I didn't think Ravaging Ghoul, I think Ravaging Ghoul was going to be a good card. But I didn't think it was going to be like absolutely ridiculous. You have meta to be, defining. You but think it, 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 it replaced yeah. Death Spite. Yeah, it replaced yeah. Death Spite. It filled the void of Death Spite. Yeah. And, and I think, and just because of Ravaging Ghoul, I already think this card is bad. That being okay. said, no, I have a different opinion of this card. I think it brings about a new archetype. The Taunt Warrior. Yes, the it's Taunt, taunt warrior. warrior. Yeah. It might be the thing that swings it over the. Uh, it, it's it's like this when you build the Taunt Warrior, there's so many three drops that you can play too already. But like, like, like the Frenzy, like Frenzy Monkey. Like, Frenzy would you monkey. play Frenzy Monkey? No, would you play this card over Frenzy Monkey? This is Monkey. Here's yeah. the thing. Oh, Furious Monkey. You yeah, can't, Furious you, Monkey. You cannot yeah. view this card as a three drop. It is yeah. not a three drop. Yeah, it's, not, it's a reactive yeah, yeah, card. Yeah, it's a reactive card. You definitely yeah. play a late game. Yeah, I would probably play this as like a five drop. I would play this. Bolster, with bolster. You want would, to play it with yeah, bolster. I would play it you as. You need like to a, play this with bolster. I definitely play this as a one of. Yeah. In one that of. sort of deck, and yeah. I would run like all taunts with bolster. Yeah. 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 Two yeah. bolsters. You can use one bolster when you have board control to just like solidify your board po uh, board position, or you can use and then you can use one to combo with this like against mm -hmm. aggro decks. Yeah. Because this basically like if you do protect the king bolster, you like catch up. You you pretty much catch up on the board if they don't have AOE and mm -hmm. aggro decks don't have AOE. Mm -hmm. So. That's where I see it, like having some sort of application. The problem is you have to you have to draw specifically those two cards at the right time mm -hmm. and have them have a lot of minions and cast the cat and have the mana to cast those spells. Yeah. yeah. So if you haven't lost by then, that's actually sort of a miracle. Well, you are a warrior, so you, you are have warrior. sustainability yeah, you, yeah. with the war axe yeah. and the hero power. Yeah. yeah. The, the bill has to be really good though, but like because this card is absolutely dead against control decks. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's true too. Yeah. 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 You need to know. draw well. You need to draw well with that deck, but since you want to draw well, you need to make good use of battle rage, and you have to include cards like Ragnarok. Cool. Yeah, yeah, Ragnarok. Yeah, it's, it's such like, anti well, yeah, yeah, it's anti. Yeah, it's anti. Yeah, it's counterintuitive. Yeah. So yeah, so it's an awkward kind of deck that you're gonna build, but you need to somehow make it work. I guess I sort of changed my opinion on it. I used to, I like just looking at the card. I think it's terrible, but like in a vacuum. But it's I guess it has some practical yeah, synergy, applications yeah. with like like impactful. Uh, bol Bolster is the most obvious energy, mm -hmm. but it's just I don't know. It's just it's too bad with Ravaging Ghoul. Mm -hmm. and it's too bad yeah, with yeah, a lot yeah, of warrior cool. cards yeah yeah like and it's just not that great well mm -hmm. i think you're viewing it like, in, incorrectly you don't never play this with ravaging ghoul of course well obviously you, can, you, you have, don't yeah both but it's anti-synergy yeah that, and having cards that don't that completely negate each other are bad if you put them yeah. in a deck unless they have like yeah and you're also playing in the meta where you have to kind of run ravaging ghoul too yeah. just to stay alive ravaging ghoul is just a better version of this if you yeah. don't play bolster and you're just playing this like by itself then what it does is it, it trades into all their minions. Yeah, For each minion that it. we have, Ghoul does that instantly and also procs your own. What if you're a knife cards. juggler? Yeah, that's... No. It's not as good as Unleash the Hound. Yeah. Knife juggler is not a but warrior hey. card. No, it is yeah. not even nearly as good. Yeah. I try, you never I, know unless yeah. you try. I don't think it's good. I, I tried it. Taunt is so much yeah, worse. I did. I actually did Taunt try is it. just so much it's worse weird. than charge. It's weird. Especially when you don't have like Buzzard yeah. Unleash or you don't have Timberwolf. Oh, you know, man. Like, you know, you know, Those like old that. days. The good old Hunter days. Yeah. yeah. My verdict, this card is not great. Yeah. I, I put, it's not terrible. Absolute trash tier. Yeah. Like purifier tier. It's... 
pretty bad. Yeah, it, it's not good, but I want to. I'm gonna put my faith in this. Put your faith. I want to put my faith in it too because I want to play a bolster warrior. Yeah, yeah. Because I don't want to play. I want, I want, want to play warriors. control warrior. Yeah. No, I, I like bolster warrior. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm just gonna keep playing my fool's bane. <laughs> yeah. yeah. What a fool. <laughs>